Carson Kressley is uh, loud, flamboyant. He's bright, funny, and uh, sassy. Moi. Carson Kressley is definitely a big personality. Ooh, I'm exhausted. He's just so charismatic. I think it's called charm. Well, he's kind of a renaissance man. Oh, really? Carson is... This is gonna sound stupid, but magic, kind of. How great is that? I'm not sure when I first heard about Carson Kressley. All I know is that growing up, he was kind of a household name. My parents talked about him all the time, about Queer Eye. We're lucky enough, having done the original show, we see the original impact. And I think Kyan was telling the story, I was telling the story how like, we're on a plane and a young flight attendant will give us a napkin that says, I watched your show with my family yeah. and it allowed me to come out to them and have a conversation. I know Carson Kressley from the original Queer Eye and from RuPaul's Drag Race. He's so lively, he's so entertaining, he's just really fun. I have always had a career in the design world and a lot of designers, they all have home collections, so I got bitten really hard by the design bug. I was like, ow! The first time I met Dr. Kressley. You don't have to call me doctor. My first impression of him was that he was exactly like I saw on TV. I'm pretty confident in the way I dress, but I was extremely nervous. <laughs> of course, he put me right at ease. But I think the thing about Carson, of course, he's a wonderful wit. And I think that's everybody's first impression. But he also is so smart. He's so informed, and he had such um, incredible knowledge of fashion. Understood fabrics, understood merchandising, knew the other competitive brands that were out there. Fashion is more than just clothing on your back. Fashion is art, fashion is design, fashion is a way of communicating, and it's a way of expressing oneself. When you have someone like Carson who understands your program, and he would not give it the seal of approval if he didn't believe in what we were doing. I love Jefferson. I've had a long relationship. I've been on their board of trustees for a number of years. I gave the commencement address. I looked really cute doing it. And um, I've just been inspired by their mission, which is creating the next generation of fashion industry professionals. Carson is so connected in so many different areas. I mean, he brought Kelly Catrone here, was kind of one of the biggest PR mavens in the fashion world. He has um, made introductions in interior design world to us. He really has so many great connections and he is so generous with his time for us and for our students and such a, a great supporter of fashion at Jefferson. There's so much creativity there, and the world always needs that. So I think it's such a great blend of form and function and art and commerce. And that's one of the reasons why I love fashion so much. The Spirit of Design Award goes to a fashion icon. When you look at some of the other people who've received the Spirit of Design Award, all real heavy hitters in design. And I think that Carson deserves this because he is in the upper echelon in the way he supports design, all aspects of design. Well, you really have to be an established brand in this industry, a recognizable name. Some of the past recipients have been Tommy Hilfiger, Nicole Miller. Last year, we honored the wonderful and world-renowned Stuart Weitzman. We we're very proud of this award. It's very meaningful to us, and we couldn't be more thrilled to give it to Carson. Thank you, Carson, for being such an inspiration for all of us and for the support you put into our program. I can think of nobody more deserving of the Spirit of Design Award. Congratulations. Thank you, Carson. Congratulations. And thank you so much for everything that you have done for fashion at Jefferson. And congratulations on receiving the Spirit of Design Award. Congratulations on your award, Carson. You totally deserve it. You're an amazing person all around, and we're so proud of you. You have to be ambitious, and you have to be creative, and you have to be scrappy. Um, I should have said I am scrappy. Who doesn't want to be scrappy?